something happened. It hurts. It makes me realize even more that I have to accept something that I'm not ready to accept even after a year. Emotional testimony here at the Montreal Courthouse Wednesday on the third day of a public coroner's inquiry into the random murders of three people in the Montreal area last year. Roxane Levy Crevier testified about who her brother Alex was, a 22-year-old who was shot dead while longboarding at the corner of Clermont and Première Rue in Laval des Rapides on August 3rd, 2022. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time, it's true, but he didn't deserve an end of his life as drastic as that, especially since my brother wasn't a bad person. All he did was live his life. He came to see me every day to see my children too. My oldest sometimes points to the sky when he sees a shining star saying it's Alex. I know there are signs everywhere, but I still really miss physical contact one year later. During the hearing, Roxanne broke down in tears saying she lives with a tremendous amount of grief. He liked motorcycles, sons of anarchy, but there was a tender heart behind his tough exterior. Alex was the last victim of the random murders. 64-year-old André Lemieux and 48-year-old Mohamed Salah Belhaj were both killed the day before him on Montreal streets at the hands of Abdullah Sheikh. Ça me ramène dans le bateau. <laughs> It brings me back to the moment that I found out and seeing the crime scene. Sheikh had visited Canada's Wonderland in Ontario and the Toronto Zoo amid the killing spree before checking into a motel in Montreal, St. Laurent, where he was shot dead by police on the morning of August 4th. Months before he was killed, an administrative tribunal decided Sheikh could continue living outside a mental health institution, even though in 2021 he represented a significant risk to public safety due to his mental state as he was diagnosed with schizophrenia. I just want to know why, despite the risk he was to society, why they did that? What did they base it on? These are the questions that I would like to have answers to. Coroner Jeanne Kamel is presiding over the inquiry, which is also investigating Sheikh's death. Hearings will continue over the next two weeks. I'm looking forward to the investigation ending so that we can close this chapter, so that we can then mourn with complete peace of mind. I feel like I'm so desperate for answers that I'm not not grieving peacefully. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News.